Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Iron Kaiser Gaming, where we are tackling T90's Hidden Community Cup. We are in stage three of the group stage. It's going to be myself against John803, if I remember correctly. And this is going to be a really interesting series, a very important series, because... My tournament life depends on how I go, how I do in this series. I'm pretty sure, if I've read the numbers right, that if I win this, because I won my first series and I lost my second series in an incredible battle against the Disappointed Invader, I'd go back and watch that, because those are awesome back and forth. But I ended up losing that series, so I'm one to one right now. Of the four of us, the next two. Uh, the top two will go on into the semifinals of the tournament. If I win against John, then I'm 2-1, and I'm pretty sure that locks me in for a spot. However, if I lose, I may be mistaken about this, but I'm pretty sure that means GG. So, uh, we want to go ahead and make sure that we win. <laughs> Uh, and so we're going to try our very best to win here. I, th I think if we win it, we go on. If we lose, we do not. So let me make sure. I want to make sure that I'm live. I want to make sure that I can actually read your guys' mistaken about this chat. I'm pretty sure that means okay, fixing that right now. We're about to so, go into the map draft uh, and Civ we draft. We want to go ahead and make sure that we win. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, and so we're going to try our very best I'm to just win here. I, I fixing my stream. It, I am not a pro streamer by not. any means. So, and so that means I want to make sure. I've got to like... Let me make sure. I want to make stuff. sure that I'm live. I want to make sure that I can actually go. read your guys' mistaken about my this chat. I'm pretty sure that means... Okay. Fixing that right now. We're about to so, go into the map draft. Uh, there so we want to go ahead and make sure that we win. Okay. <laughs> so cool. Now I can uh, see what everybody is saying to me. Fixing my online so say hi if you're out there watching i appreciate you guys oh you know the last thing i forgot to do let me pull that up right there All right. Bah, 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 bah. Gonna let everybody know that we are live there we go messages sent let's go ahead and dive into our draft Here we go. I am the guest. So first we have to get through the drafting phase. You've got to pick what particular maps we do and do not want to play on. He takes bypass out of the system. Okay, that works for me, I think. Let's remove... Hmm. I think I'm going to get rid of Bay. I'm going to pick as my map quarry I would like to play on quarry and John 803 is going to go with what he's got 15 seconds to pick uh, let's see I would predict Ara he goes Arabia for his home map okay ooh, 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 ooh. interesting that works for me. Arabia is the classic. Let's ban out islands. It's his turn. He's got a ban two now. So we're, we're going to narrow it down to our first map. Mudflow is banned. I'm okay with that. I had Mudflow as my pick, but honestly, after that last game with the uh, the Disappointed Invader, that was so close of a battle. Uh, and I think I did not have... Uh, Gold Rush I would have liked. I do enjoy Gold Rush. Let's take... <sighs> Slopes and Cup out of the equation. He removes hidden forts. He 
Is he going to remove cross? He removes high tides. Cross or evacuation? Ooh, cross or evacuation? I did do well on cross against my opponent last time. I'm going to ban evacuation. We're going to take a cross. All right. So those are our maps. Cross will be the first map we play on. Sad that Gold Rush is banned. Yeah, I would have liked Gold Rush. That would have been a really good one. Um, but Cross is banned. Or uh, Cross is our first map. If I lose on Cross, I'm going to take us to Quarry. I actually feel okay. I think Cross is the one that I feel most worried about. Like, I, I, I think I'll play the worst on Cross. So, if I lose Cross, I can take us to our home map. I feel really good on Quarry. And then Arabia, I mean, that's that's my bread and butter, right? So, I feel good about both of the pick maps. If I win on Cross, well, then I'm, I'm golden. I feel really good. I did win on Cross last time, so we'll see. I'm waiting on John to set up the... Civ picks. Here we go. All right. I am the guest. I am ready. We get to put in a couple of bands. I have reviewed John's profile, his strengths. Uh, we're oh, he bans Romans. Interesting pick. He bans Romans. Uh, I see that he is pretty good with the Berbers, and he's pretty good with the Persians. We're removing both of them from the equation. He bans Franks. <laughs> I don't play that much Franks. I think I played Franks... He might be banning based off of my picks on the last... Yeah, he's picking based on my... <sighs> Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and ban the... For Cross, I want to remove those fish traps from the Khmer. From the equation, I think. Khmer or maybe the Japanese. <sighs> Let's go Japanese. I'll ban Japanese. On cross, I really enjoy playing Italians. Give me my pick here. Oh yeah, that's. I mean, you just take a quick look. You you see what what are the what sieves are good on what maps or who does John eight hundred three like to play? Hindustanis for John. Okay, that removes them from the board. For me, interesting. All right, I want to play Bulgarians. I think he also is pretty good with Bulgarians, so taking them off the board. I really like Bulgarians for Quarry. Lithuanians are selected. And who else? Are the Hindustanis going to be his cross pick? I suppose so, because you get the um, the fishermen and the fishing ships with extra carry capacity. Magyar. Okay, two captives. I want to bring in the Teutons and the Turks are going to be my final selections. Why Lithuanians on cross? Maybe I'm fixating too much on the naval part. Something about predictability of relics or, or just flexibility. What are you thinking? Yeah, you're right about that. And there's Khmer. I thought I... Oh, I didn't ban Khmer. I ban... So, I, okay, Khmer... I bet he goes Khmer on cross. That's what I'm thinking. If he does, I think it's a mistake, because I've got Genoese crossbow. Okay. All right. There we go. So we have our we have our maps. Cross, Arabia, Quarry. 
we have our sieves. For my opponent, Khmer, Magyar, Lithuanians, Hindustanis. For me, Italians, Bulgarians, Teutons, and Turks. Mr. J. Mr. Junior. I don't know why I call you Mr. J. Everyone's like, Mr. Junior, hope you're doing good, man. Good to see you in chat. Hindustanis, I don't think, have the fish bonus anymore. I thought it was... Is it the Dravidians? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Let me, uh, here, let me, let me switch into AoE 2 here. Just double-checking myself. I thought Hindustanis had some kind of bonus. No, I guess it's just cheaper bills. Okay, so I bet you he goes Khmer round one. Yeah, I don't know. I just that that R just blends in for some reason. I don't know, Mr. Junior. All right, we are waiting for what server? Uh, hold on one second. We are figuring out what server we're going to be using. I bet we use US East. Either U.S. East or U.S. West. We're both U.S. players, so uh, there shouldn't be any significant issues on that front. Mr. B in Twitch, uh, in YouTube chat. Good to see you, man. I am hoping this one's a win. So my opponent, just due to the positioning on the bracket, my opponent has to actually set up the lobby. I guess what I could do, if I'm impatient, is go to find custom game and put in John803. It'll pop up any minute now. I think, I, I'm really hoping that I get to play Teutons. I have this sort of nostalgic favoritism. Because when I started playing Age of Empires 2, like over a decade ago, um, I used to play nothing but Teutons. They were my civilization. Um, I have a German background, you might guess, from Iron Traffic Game. And uh, I don't know, I just growing up, it's like I played nothing but Teutons. And I always like, when I get into these tournament matches, it feels like I ought to bring them in at least once. Uh, let's see, John is messaging me. Okay, he's made the game. John. We do have some bad matches. All right, let's let's use the code he just gave me. Let's see if that works. All right, come on now. Let me try this. This is, I've said before, like I love Age of Empires 2. It is one of the all time, like it's it's the, the greatest. I mean, it, it, I consider it one of the Mona Lisa's of gaming. Um, but even with the Definitive Edition, there are some areas, some aspects where I think it could be better. And in Age games, the, the lobby system is one of the is one area where it could be massively improved. Things like guilds, like the clans tab here, useless. I've got my own clan, Iron Kaiser Gaming. Only have a couple. Shout out to Testificator and Skyflyer, who are actually a part of Iron Kaiser Gaming clan. I do not blame people for being a part of, for not being a part of the clan, because the clan isn't used for anything. You, you, not, not because of me, but just, you know, you can't really do anything with. Uh... Let's see, don't see him there. Let's see, John. Come on, John. 
You know, if there are ways of beefing up the clan's system so that, you know, it was it was easier to see and invite people in your clan or to do things with your clan message and chat and share. If there was more community investment. Infinite Odyssey, is that your guys' clan name? Or is that a different game? You won a few tournaments, Mr. Sick. You know what I need to do? I will tell you this. Um... I am not nearly as good of a team player as I am at 1v1. I'm really not. I I've Something about the tempo is completely different. And um, I don't know. I'm just not that skilled. So I, I, I would love to do that. I should do some of that so that I can get better. I might bring you guys down a little bit. Let me reach out to John. I'm not finding you. On 803. Let me send, use the link above. Um, I am. Go over to Hidden Community Cup. I'm actually going to share with the Hidden Community Cup that I am live. Going live. He has sent me the link again. Same link. Yeah, Jimmy. I'm down for it. That'd be great. We should do it sometime. I think it's because my style... And you guys have been able to see in... Um, Yeah, it's saying no game matching those parameters found. I'm going to tell him that. He keeps he keep sending me this this link like it should be coming up. No game with those parameters found. Oh, here we go. Accept. All right, there we go. That works. That works. There we go. Thanks. Um... Okay, taking a look at the rules real quick. I mean, John knows his stuff, but I'm just making sure uh, everything looks good. Victory is on conquest. It's really messed up. All right, that looks. And we are playing on cross first. Our sieve will definitely be the Italians. I want those cheaper fishing ships. Does he have the lobby hidden or something? Yeah, I have no idea. It shouldn't be hidden. Maybe he did have it hidden on accident. Addictive me, thanks for dropping in. I appreciate it. I hope I do. John803, I mean, he's he's got some wins on the board. So, uh, I don't think it's a given, but I'm going to give it my best shot. We're going to have fun, win or lose. I can guarantee you that. He is ready. I am ready. Game one. Let's get going. Yeah, Italians have cheaper fishing ships. They have cheaper age-ups. Uh, I also, I'm suspecting that he's going to go Khmer, which oftentimes means, uh, you know, elephants and cavalry. Um, and I think that uh, the Genoese crossbowman, the Italian unique unit, will be an excellent selection against the Khmer. Five, four, three, two, one. Good luck, have fun to you as well, John. He's playing Lithuanians. Okay, not what I was expecting, but also a cavalry civilization. We get rolling. Come on, here we go. Start scouting with my sheep. Right back at you. Got a lake really close by. Good spot for a dock right there. Opening is nice. 
I'm wondering if he's gonna try some kind of right. Lithuanian Trush, or if he's, you know, a Scout Rush. Or if he's just gonna try to do it. Just want to shout out you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you watching along. Uh, I am purposefully ignoring my chat. So Twitch Discord, uh, I'm sorry guys. Uh, or just Twitch Discord, Twitch and YouTube. Uh, whatever you type in the chat, you're talking to each other. I will get to read it eventually, but I am purposefully ignoring you guys as I play the game. Because well, the main thing is, I don't know the rules about I would hate for there to be a situation where somebody says, Hey, um, you know, you won the game because you listened to some message on Discord, and that's against the rules, no backseat gaming, so, you know, you're disqualified or something. Like that. I don't want to do that, so. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, do I have a boar over here? I thought I had a boar up this way, too. I could have sworn I had more over here. Salve, And I think put one more on wood, and then get on the dot. Salve. Two. Salve. Boom. Easy. All right. Good stuff. This one's going here. You are going to stop. I'll go. There's the second one. About right there. Clear as day. Maybe put one or two more on the wood. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I don't mind that. Whoa, what's going on there? Cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. And I got it. That's one way I'm going to get one. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. Boom. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. No, no, no. Sorry. No. No. Do a little dance here. Do a little dance. Yeah, he went. He went. He went. Good stuff. Okay, that actually works for me. Um, you get to go down here. A little bit off there. Get that sheep. Okay, alright. So far, so good. We, we stole some sheep from Blue. And we've, we've identified a vulnerability there. Uh, his lumber camp. Until he gets up into the feudal age, I'll eventually want to know if he drops down a barracks. playing on these maps is um, on water maps. You know, I get used to the tempo of when you do and don't require houses on you know, land battles and the like. Unsurprisingly, it's not on berries. So you see that, and then, you know, when you have the docks going. Salve. Six, 
Condo. Condo. Presto. Condo. Condo. Caedo. One more. Ain. Condo. Salve. Impero. Condo. Condo. Like a dock above his own as well. Good. I say good because if we both are using fishing eco, then I'm. I have the advantage there because I'm a cheaper fishing ship. Make sure. I'm not seeing any military. Yeah, I'm not seeing any military buildings. When last I scouted. Okay, Let's get that eco rolling. Presto, condo, condo, condo. Caedo. Okay, so far. This is looking decent. I like where we're at. Maybe even throw you guys on. Salve. Pero. Salve. 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 Aim. Correct. No, no, no. Condo. Right. Sure enough. I need a mill in order to put down the barracks. Dang. All right. Uh, but. Probably cast. I'm expecting. I'm actually gonna start with cavalry, and then maybe make a switch into Genoa's crossbow. Oh my goodness! Okay, we're, we're there already. Let's well, see. I'll save the demo, just in case I don't want to over-invest.
also, hey, please look away. Let's see if we can get the trouble. He does not. Okay. to start thinking where's my monk okay we need a lot more in the way of food I think I need to I think I saw something over there. Correctus. I need to deliver ready for you. Relic one we've got. Good stuff. Don't tell me you see me. Presto. Correcto. Oh, hello, friend. What is this? Okay. Um. Let's build a monks. I think that will be a really good plan. Impero. Presto. Mita. Ein puño. Sane. 
Defensive castle instead of the offensive castle that I'm always doing. Actually, you know what? Presto Sun. Presto Sun. Presto Sun. Presto We already got that one. Presto Sun. Out the way I'm hoping. Spread out, guys. But I think I've got the army. Issue by building a castle. Not there, actually. Let's build it right there. Build it right there. Build it right there. 
This is why I don't like fishing traps. This happens to me all the time. Maybe it's because of wood, but not enough wood. myself enough time. I don't think he's going to do as much damage as he would have. I do have some knights still. I can use them as my temporary response. Oh, 
of Genoese Crossbowman. Oh, why is this lag kicking off? Kaiser, victorious. Whew. All right, let's look at the map. Uh, so as I suspected, I didn't say this while I was casting. I kind of suspected that he was on a bunch of the other lakes. Wow, look at that. He actually did not claim that one. So I figured he actually might have taken more advantage. And I never did rebuild that dock. So these guys are just sitting here doing nothing. But from a Civ... Just from a, a military composition point of view, I think I had that. The, the He went all in on Cav, and I punished that. Um, the crossbowmen, plus the spears, plus the monks, scared him off of pure knights early on. Uh, well, actually, I said scared. I mean, he, he pushed in here and did serious damage. But fortunately, I had three TCs up. I, I wiped out his entire army in exchange for, I'm going to guess, maybe like 20 vils or something like that. That put him on the back foot. I was able to then... Apply the pressure and win that match. Okay. Really, really excited. Game one is mine. That means one more win. And I'm finished with the group stage. And likely, I don't want to guarantee this, but I think the way the numbers pan out, I move on to the semifinals in the tournament. He took a big bad trade. Yeah. Yeah, Paladin was a big mistake. I, I think so too. One of the things that I'm trying to do, I learned this in my last match against uh, uh, Disappointed Invader, is don't be too clever by half. Stick to the basics. He's playing a Cav Civ. He's probably going to go Cav. Right now, use your scouts. Get your intel. Uh, make sure of that. But what I've found in the tournament so far is 
for the most part, these guys, you know, and, and I, I said these guys, I'm thinking myself too. You know, I, I pick a sieve, I want to play with those power units, so um, it makes sense that he went knights and, and just, just plan for countering knights. And that works. Whew. Wow. All right, man. Okay, that's great. We're going to set up game two in just a little bit here. Uh, he uh, gets to pick the map. So chances are high that he goes Arabia. And if he goes Arabia... Good job getting it off the goal. Yeah. Yeah, when I saw that, yeah, exactly right. I'm like, hey, you know, you don't need that goal. You just don't need that goal. I'm sorry. So let's see if we can find him. Oh, pending invitation. Here we go. Here we go. All right. One sec. Okay, he's taking us to Arabia, which does not surprise me. Let's very quickly flip back over to our uh, to our civ options. He just lost with Lithuanians. He's got Hindustanis, Magyar, and Khmer. I'm really surprised he didn't go Khmer on four legs. I don't know that it would have made a difference, but that's the civ that has a naval bonus. He's probably going to go Magyar and pull off a scout rush. Do a scout rush, is what I'm suspecting. I am going to play Teutons. I'm going to play Tudens. I'm going to play this a little more defensively. I'm expecting the Scout Rush. And... Um, so I'm, I'll just play defense, get up some spears, push off the Scouts, and transition into... Let's see. If he's Lithuanians, my Knights are better than his. So yeah, we just go Cab versus Cab. That's what I'm thinking. Good ideas, Mr. Patch. Yeah, I, I agree that Lithuanians are a good pick for him, but uh, like I mean, Lithuanians are good in the way that they're good in any sieve. They're like a jack of all trades sieve, right? That extra hundred food just gives you flexibility. I I just don't see it uh, on cross compared to like if he had access to the Japanese or the if he actually kills your fishing ships, it's a very different mid game. Fair enough. Very true. Very true. And I, I am glad that ultimately that lake battle went my way. <sighs> Alright. Playing Teutons, playing defense, gonna small wall my lumber camps and my mills and everything. I'm expecting that scout pressure. And I'm just gonna get up some spears. Guys, wish me luck. Game two of our best of three series. Hindustanis! Oh, okay, interesting. Hey, yeah. What does that mean? Does he go camels? Does he go... Is he likely to go... Yeah. Gulam would be a mistake. You know, I get into my... Zuok, huh? Teutonic lights, which I'm making. So if the situation allows for it. I'm a good enough player. Well, once upon a time, when I first played Age of Empires 2, remember how I said I'd play nothing but Teutons? Yeah, I was young, and I also played nothing but Teutonic Knights. Every game. Slow castle, into castle, into Teutonic Knights. Every single game. And my best friend eventually sort of realized what I was doing, and he came up with the perfect counter strat. And I was like, how? why am I losing? I mean, I've, I've got the best unit. Why am I losing? So... I won't be doing that this game. I'm probably going to go Knights. Huh? You know, is my opening scheme. But... Hey, if I could get away with it, though. What I would love to do is take a page from hey, uh, Disappointed Invaders book. And use Teutonic Knights into the brand new, more effective Rams. I think that would be an awesome pick. Now, looking at that last match, I did win. There were some areas I could improve. I was floating too much wood uh, for a significant yeah, part of the match. Also. And also, letting myself get housed. I need to be on my Zool, house huh? better. So, I'm going to try to keep an eye on that. Yeah, okay, what am I shooting? 
It also didn't hurt that I was able to steal some of those sheep that last time. I doubt I can pull that off twice, but. Okay, I've got all my sheep. Do I have vision of all of my boar? That's one boar. Where is the second boar? There's boar. Okay, I have all. That means I have a boar. Let's see if we can figure out where he is. I really like this new uh, drop off hockey. One click. That wasn't bad. That could have been better, but... Yeah. Oh. I actually get away with you. I will lose my scout here most likely. Hey, Jäger, that's bad. Even just taking that sheep away from him—it's a—it's a small little thing. Hey, Jäger, Probably time for me to start um, walling up too. Yeah. Boo bear. Boo bear. Zoo. Let's go ahead. Okay. I did lose a scout, so there's a significant. I don't have intel. That part's never fun. Heise. Do I have a barracks yet? Hey, That sheep on over, that's right. Yeah. Hey, sir. Boo bear. Boo bear. Holza. Yeah, I should take a yard. Yeah, that's one. It is a soul. Hey, sir. This one. I'm predicting a scout rush. It's just the vibe that I've got. 
That's the sad thing, is I sort of have to predict what his play is. As long as the scout is up, though, I guess I could see if any uh, blacksmith is going So, you know, it could be worse. Yeah, Holza. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna. I don't need another farm. I need to let my wood Yes, okay, I predicted correctly. I see scouts. Hey, so he's, he's wanted to try to break in. So he's invested resources yeah. into Ooh, scouts, which yeah. just aren't gonna play. That dog ain't gonna hunt. Yeah. Okay, I got one scout. Yeah, this is uh, really, really good for us. And I am. Well, I guess. Hey, yeah. Uber. Holzer. Is it? Oh, the scout. Oh, wow. That's one way to get on the house. Hey, sir. Holzer. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up wheelbarrow. It's a little early, I know. It's more about being housed and just deciding to. Uber. Uber. Holzer. Yeah. Last game I, I waited a little bit. Yeah, hey, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Archer is interesting, okay. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Yeah. Hey, sir. Here he is. Yeah. Uh, do I really want to go into. I, you know, I, I still have scars from last time that I got Archer Rush. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 
Doing anything I can to try to... That's why. 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 That's Hey, ja, das ist toll. Hey, ja, bereit. Ja, das ist toll. Hey, ja, das ist toll. Hey, ja, das Hey, ja, das ist toll. Hey, ja, das Hey, ja, das ist Hey, ja, Okay, that was obviously messy. Not the kind of fight that I wanted to have. Yeah. But... I think it could have been a lot worse. I think I'm still in the game. Definitely gonna need to go infantry. I, just, I know Camel's coming. He's in the stock. Bereite, Bubere. Could do again. Then again, I don't want to let it. Oh my goodness, what was that? Did you just see that spear let in? This is not the That was not supposed to happen. Good though, come on guys. Oh, 
Nächste. Nächste. Klick, Mann. But I don't really see what my options are. Okay, yeah. Ooh, there, there. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. That's his soul. That's his soul. Yeah, that's his soul. That's his soul. A really good play. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, able to simultaneously. Not everything, but looking at the score, I have definitely tell you the score here. Uh, 
actually good. I don't know if I've ever played a game as the Tugents before where my number one uh, unit was uh, Camel. I'm still going into Camel, so I'm, I'm sort of forced into it. Yeah. 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 We are just fighting with the seat of our pants here. Hey, yeah. Uh, let's see. Move there. One. Yeah. Move there. Move no longer in an impossible situation. A bad situation, yes, it's possible. Nice. Big issue for me is figure out. If I'm lucky enough that I'm the first one hit, you know. Hey, wait a minute. 
One one, but it's my map. <laughs> Despite the fact that your opponent is trying to throw this game into five different ways, yeah, I know. That that's kind of that's sort of the game that stings for me. It's a game where and look, I have I me. Mean, I have not thrown out the cap. Maybe I should have stayed in. I don't think I should have stayed in. He had four TCs up. I bet you his Vil counts. Dwarf mine. Yeah. Uh, he had the advantage across the board, so I think uh, that one makes sense. I think I was right to, uh, to hang in for as long as I did, but I don't think I was coming back from that. Now, if I had... <sighs> the problem there, I think I ended up relying on the Teutonic Knight, and it was doing a decent job, but those guys are slow. If I had maybe gone into Pikemen and just, honestly, if I had just not let the camels in, that one moment when the camels all got in because the monk, was it a monk or a vill that came coming back in and just left the door open. Yeah, Pike and Siege. Yeah, if I'd had time, my plan was to go Mangano, uh, Honorger, for the, his inevitable, I mean, he's making the switch already to hand cannons. So, uh, but I think he had the better eco. He was in a better position. So, Pikeman let him in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it all comes down to this. One last match that either, I believe, brings an end to my Hidden Community Cup journey or puts me into the semifinals. Let's see, I'm checking with my opponent. He has the code for me. At the very least, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, if nothing else, it makes for good viewing. Right? Let's see if this pulls it up. This is how Iron Kaisers are made. That is exactly right. That's what I think sometimes when I'm in the middle of a losing match. Like in that last one when I decided to hang in there. I'm thinking to myself, you know, if I can pull it off, the glory. Like, you know, the just the... The amazing hype would be through the roof. So you got to try for it. 
You never have glorious games without moments like that. Let's see. If I do this, or is that okay? Hey, wait, wait, no, there it was. The good news is, again, we're on my map. Um, that one? He put my name in there. Or auto. I know he put auto in. <laughs> on Age of Empires 3 I'm playing the British I used to have Gat I'm used to having Gatling guns in my United States of yeah uh, no Gatling guns I guess you could play the Portuguese uh, with their organ guns that's probably the closest thing As a set to quarry. My two options. Ooh, what are my op? So, I won this. I won on this map before playing Bulgarians. I really enjoy Bulgarians, but I'm also really good with Turks. You know what? No, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to ask chat for their opinion. You know, I, I won't do that. I. I not gonna get in trouble. So I gotta figure this out. Let me take a look at his civs really quickly. What are his options? He's used Hindustanis. He's used Lithuanians. He's up to Magyar or Khmer. Which I would predict he's going to go Magyar. If it's a scout versus scout fight, he wins. I'm going to go Bulgarians. Uh, no, I don't want to leave. I'm going Bulgarians. I'm going to try the their excellent Grush, just like last time. And I hope that I hit faster than he does. Plus, the last two games I've played a little bit more defensively. So, you know, maybe he'll not sort of be ready for that aggressive attack. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Game is starting. Magyar and Bulgarians, just like I expected. <laughs> Good luck. As good off. Maybe I just missed 
got this. So I know where both four are. Oh, hey. She down, she captured. I'll take it. Let's get open. Okay, did I, did I lose any bills this time? I don't. I sure hope not. That was a little bit wonky, but two sheep down. Uh, okay. Are there sheep in the middle of the I could, I could actually do that first. Uh, disrupt the food. Ваши 
I gotta pick up some ego upgrades, I think. It's more on the offense, but. Drop. Hopefully, we'll get some damage of our own. That'd be pretty great. Okay, so he's going into cat. That is his plan. Yes. That means we're gonna have to make a switch over to Mango, I suppose. Yeah. 
that's a little dangerous. I do not know what As the life. As the As Oh, there's a hole. There's always a hole. Every time there's a hole. We do control the center of the map. Once we get that market up, we can use gold for quite a lot. Somehow I still have uh, this. Yeah. Not reacting. Oh my goodness, he doesn't see it. Good stuff. Yep, okay. Alright, we just. We just okay, um. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. That's a game. Wow. All right, that worked. Um, the drush, kind of rewinding. The drush was not as effective as I wanted it to be. I think it caused a little bit of idle eco time, but nothing crazy. Um, I, uh, yeah, caused a little bit of damage there. Not a lot, but maybe slowed him down for a second or two. Uh, he went into archers, which was, I, I honestly, I like it. Uh, Magyar, they, you know, they're, they're calves. See, everyone expects cav. I think he tried to mind game me out with the crossbows. He's a good crossbow player. Um, uh, I think we've seen archers from him every single match, uh, and was able to do Good damage, but he was a little slow in getting up to castle. I was able to wipe out what he had. Probably the big moment. I think he maybe had the game earlier, and then he let me just eliminate that entire ball of archers uh, in the castle age without recognizing it in time. You know, I didn't take any damage, so I had a full force of calf that let me put the pressure back on him. Flushing I had slip. forgotten about these guys, but there they are going to work in the castle. Good job there. Uh... He's only got... Well, he's got the three TCs, so I bet you he, he might have more... Well, I have three TCs, too, but... I bet he's got more bills than I did. Okay, now I got more. <sighs> drush was bad. Yeah, I agree. I, it's just was not what I wanted out of the Drush, uh, for sure. Um... Uh, yeah, maybe his mid-game was... Well, I thought... Now, maybe it's because I was worse. And I'm, I'm open to hearing that. I think the game that he won, he did a really good job applying pressure uh, with the Skirm, Archer, uh, what was it? Scout Calf combo. He just... He just did it. Oh, yeah. No, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, Jimmy. I'm right there with you 100%. Like, you, you... Playing in a tournament like this, you go in thinking, what were my mistakes? Uh, and I think I had several. My eco fell all over the place throughout that game. Um, but... Yeah. No, it's no shit at all. I'm, I'm here for it. I appreciate the comments. You're right. The Drush could have been better, I think. I'm really ticked off at... He made the switch into Knights. Like, he, he was going crossbows with a couple of Knights, and he brought those Knights in to shut down my Onager before it could do anything to his Archers. I felt really bad. Uh, yeah, GG to him. Yeah, exactly. That was what I'm saying. I'm trying to hype him up. He did a good job. Played very well. Very deserving of whatever he ends up getting in this tournament. He could be the other guy uh, who goes into the semifinals. And he's a tough opponent. Yeah, that hole in the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was really fortunate. Honestly, I got lucky a couple times. When I hit that wood line of his and he had that one hole that he didn't see and I was able to get so many kills there with the Knights. Um, obviously being able to clean up those archers and then uh, yeah, just I think that happened a second time too if I remember right. Um, you know, I'm glad to hear that. Play defense. I feel like defense is one of my weaknesses. So um, maybe I'm getting a little better at that. GG to my opponent. I gotta, I gotta give him a GG. Uh, let me let me uh, go talk to him real quick. Hey man, GG, really well played. Was awesome playing against you. Yeah, that, honestly, that was probably the big uh, change up from how I played before. For some reason, whenever I see units, my instinct is to say, you know, build units of my own, uh, get up skirms, get up scouts and knights, and try to fight off those archers, and I just rely on that when it was actually a comment that my wife made after the second series. I think it was when I was playing against um, Invader. After that series was done, she's like, I'm surprised you didn't build a tower against archers. 
And her saying that made me realize, yeah, that's a weakness of mine. I never build towers. I didn't do that. And I had that voice in the back of my head as I was going into this final match, and I see the archers coming, and I say, hey, wait a minute. Maybe I should do towers. And, uh, yeah, I think that made a difference uh, in just stopping him from walking all over me, buying me enough time. Exactly. Live and learn. You learn through losing. That is one of the biggest shifts in my mentality or why I'm such an optimistic player when I play even when I lose it's because this is how you learn you're not supposed to be somebody who uh, is just born with innate AOE skill and you've got it all locked down and, you know, you're know, you a worthy person if you win 80% of your games no it's just you win by losing that's the yeah you, you win yeah you win through winning that's true you learn by losing you win through winning <laughs> true true all that's true guys Thank you for joining me, man. Guess what? I am pretty sure I'm still in this, and I just punched my ticket to the semifinals. Or the, or the quarterfinals. Not the semis, the quarterfinals. So, yeah, I gotta watch them both. That's right. So, good game to John803. John, if you if you watch this later on, man, well done. I, I doff my cap to you. Tip of the hat. Well, well done. And, uh, guys, thanks so much for watching. Giving a shout-out to Jimmy James 59 Mr. Junior 2 over on uh, the YouTube chat. I've got Brandon and Spartacus and Mr. V commenting in. Thank you guys every much. I uh, think you guys very much for watching the games with me. Wow. Wow. What a game. So I think it'll be a couple of weeks before everybody wraps up their group stage and we move on to the quarterfinals. So probably the next time you have me stream, uh, or I'll be streaming, I'll actually do some fun like spectate games or just ladder games or something uh, but we will come back i believe with a quarterfinal showing so thanks guys for now i gotta get rolling this is the iron kaiser signing off have a great